This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Northwestern 68, Maryland 61. Terps just shoot 9% from three tonight. That's probably a big part of the story, two for 22. Northwestern not much better, two for 13 from beyond the arc. Overall, Northwestern 46%, Maryland 38%. Terps had a chance until the very end. They kept fighting back, couldn't get over the hump. We now are going to go live to Bruce Posner, live from the Xfinity Center to recap this game. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt. And they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. Wayne, I tell you, it was very disappointing because now you know they have to win the Big Ten tournament to get a bid. Whereas if we would have won the last three and maybe one or two in the tournament, it might have worked out. But I tell you what was good tonight. We saw the arrival of DHS. He was fantastic. If he would have hit a couple of threes, not five or six of them, but two of them or three of them, he's the best player on the court tonight. He was incredible. He rebounded. He drove. He did everything he could possibly do. A great sign for next year, Wayne. When Derek Queen comes and joins the party with Juju Reese and uh, DHS and Jamie Kaiser. So you've got to look at the bright side of the loss. And that's how I always look at things. But I honestly thought, had we swept the last three games uh, and wind up 10 and 10, 9 and 11, we're not going to get it unless we win it at all. I don't think we might have gotten it at 10 and 10 if we didn't. But there was a chance because we'd have been a hot team. But uh, just a typical Maryland game. I think they were two for 22 from the three points. You know, Wayne, they were 18 for 30 on without threes. At some point, do you say it's just not a year where we could hit the threes and just go to the bucket? We were getting the calls. We went to the line, I think, 20 some times. I, I just think that it's just not working. We had that one game against Iowa when they hit every three in the world. But outside of that, it hasn't worked. And now we're nine, uh, seven, seven and 11. Normally a lucky number, but not tonight, Wayne. And say that uh, Jameer Young was Jameer Young. Uh, Juju was really physical out of the game. If you want to see a formula for how to handle him, they did it tonight with this guy Barnheiser and I think Hunter. They just beat the hell out of him, all right, and really frustrated him. He still played well down the wire, though. But when the hey, when the truth comes next year, things will be different, right? That's a promise. Wayne, that's what I got. It's just the noise. I can't hear you. So, uh, since 1991, Viron Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viron Forgates for your next IT project. Maryland's going to wrap this up, this season up, with two regular season games left, 2 o'clock against Indiana, and then they follow that up the following weekend at Penn State. But as Bruce said, when you have already have 11 losses, the best conference record you can get out of this is 9-11. and 11. That's not exactly where Kevin Willard wanted to be. Guys play with great effort, but they just can't get the ball to go in the basket. Same story as it's been throughout the year. Congratulations to Northwestern. Even though they were down a few players, Martinelli had a fantastic game. He gets 27. Boo Booey only has 12, but they do find a way to, to just do enough to keep Maryland at bay, Maryland did get it down to two points. Then they have that big rush at the end. You think Maryland's going to get back in it, just can't get over the hump. So congrats to the Northwestern team. And we'll be back on Sunday with a doubleheader. It's lacrosse against Notre Dame. And then Maryland, Indiana, and basketball should be a great day to be a Terp. 
We'll see you then. This is Wayne for Bruce Bowser back at Xfinity Center and Mason, who's away from the camera. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. Good evening.